Hi all, so I purchased this Celestron DX70 or 70DX scope on Amazon uh, and I just wanted to do a quick review of it now that I've had it now for a couple of weeks. So before I tell you about how I've been using it and my experience of it, uh, let me tell you what you get with this version of it. So this is the DX version, so that means you get a few extra um, components supplied with the scope uh, and I'll tell you what the difference between the standard 70 is and the DX version. So with the DX, you can see here, I've already got it set up. Um, so with, with this Celestron, you do, everyone gets the tripod, the telescope, the viewfinder here that you have here on the side here for locating uh, stars and planets. So that then once you've located it on this, you can just jump onto here and make some fine adjustments. Um, and you also get two lenses as well provided. So these are the two lenses that you get. So you get a 20 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. Uh, so you get these two lenses provided. So you also get this device here with all of the, the different models. And this is fantastic because it makes sure everything is up the right way and the right way round. So this is actually called um, an erect image diagonal. And that just goes on the end of the telescope. It also makes it easier because you're looking more down on the on the view as opposed to trying to get down low because this isn't the tallest the tripod that comes with it so that's what you get with the telescope now with the dx version you also get a barlow lens that's going to two times your magnifications when you when used in conjunction with the other lenses which is fantastic so that comes with the dx you also get a phone holder with the dx so i've been using this with my iphone 14 uh, and it fits absolutely perfectly in there and goes up against the lens and you can actually use that for, for viewing and also for taking pictures as well. Because what you do get provided with this as well is a, a remote control, a Bluetooth remote control. You just press this and it will just take a photo on your smartphone. And that's good because you don't want to be touching it because this tripod when fully extended is not the, the, the most uh, sturdy tripod. Uh, and you get lots of movement if you're touching the scope. So having that remote is fantastic that you can use that. Also with the DX, you get a moon filter as well, this filter here. So that's the three things essentially that make the DX different from the other standard models. You'll know it's the DX version because it has this, uh, this silver side to it where the standard version just has the, the black plastic there or metal side so that's the difference between them and that's what you get provided with this one you also naturally you're going to get your user guide here you get some software um, and you get the bag it comes really nicely packaged in this box here so this would make an absolute fantastic uh, present for somebody who wants to get started uh, uh, in as astronomy or astro astronomical observations i also use this for terrestrial mainly for terrestrial because we uh, we overlook the countryside and we see lots of animals in the distance. We don't know what they are, birds, uh, deer, animals, and we just use this to get a closer look and we leave it set up all of the time. It's absolutely fantastic. So in terms of pros and cons with this scope, so you've got that 70 millimeter refractor lens here, which is great. It lets in a lot of light, especially during the day when you're looking at um, animals out in the back uh, yard, for example. Um, and because naturally you can get much bigger lenses that let more light in, they're gonna give you that greater detail and you can even get smaller versions of this as well. But this one is really fantastic at the terrestrial viewing. I absolutely love it. Um, in terms of looking at the planets, it's great. You can see the craters on the moon um, and we've actually observed other planets and you can just about make out Saturn's rings as well. But that's the kind of level of detail that you're gonna get using this uh, for astronomical work. So um, the only slight con that I found with this is the tripod. So the tripod for me, if it's like it is now, it's quite sturdy, but once you start extending the tripod, I don't know if you can see there, the last foot, how thin that metal is. And there is just so much movement when you have this um, set up. There's so much movement on the tripod. It's really not that sturdy. 
Uh, and it's very difficult to, when you're looking at a planet, for example, or even the moon, to try and get it in the right position and get keep it still. So that would be my only criticism is the tripod is just really not great. And now what we're doing is we're just using this on another tripod, a camera tripod that we have, and it's so much more stable. But having said that, the, the benefit of having a tripod like this, it's super lightweight and very, very compact. So you can see if you fold it down, it's literally so tiny, it weighs nothing, and it all fits into this bag. So naturally my larger tripod is not gonna do that. So if you're taking this out and about, then yes, this tripod is gonna be fine. Uh, it's nice and lightweight. So in, in, in actual fact, the total weight of the product when it's in the bag is just 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. So that's what this is all about, portability. You've got straps on the back, putting that on your back, going off into the countryside, setting up, uh, and just viewing wildlife. It's absolutely fantastic for that and we love it for that reason. Okay, so I've come out onto my balcony now. So I've just got my torch here to show you how I've got the telescope set up with my, uh, with my smartphone connected. So I'm gonna turn the torch off now. I've got it positioned on the moon and I'll show you uh, the results that you get from it. So it was a little bit tricky to set up. I'd positioned the telescope um, pointing at the moon, but as soon as I put my um, my phone on the tripod, it was out of position. So the tripod is not really strong enough to hold it in position. So I've had to readjust it, but I think I've got it just about right now. So I'll turn my torch off and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it in terms of this. This is a Celestron, the quality is great, the picture quality is great. Um, it all works really, really nicely, super simple to use. Everything just clips in, so in order to put your, uh, your lenses in, you just simply have these little screw pieces here, they just go in, you tighten it up, uh, and that's it. And then you put your lens in, that slides in like so. So just loosen off, slide in, and then just screw up and then you're good to go like that. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. This is, this is recommended. Yes, it's let down a little bit by the tripod, um, but for us, this is absolutely fine. We're using it on a different tripod. So this is the Celestron, it's the 70DX uh, travel scope. It's available on Amazon and it comes highly recommended.